All right, Belief is a landmark documentary series exploring humankind's ongoing search to connect with something greater than ourselves. Oprah Winfrey narrates the program spanning six continents over seven consecutive nights. Belief follows arranged people, arranged people on their profound journeys, among them a Hindu woman from Chicago seeking more out of life and what she believes. The woman heads to the banks of the Ganges River in India for the world's largest spiritual gathering. मैं अमेरिका में रहती हूँ और मुझे लाइक अच्छी जॉब है अच्छी परिवार है सब कुछ है पर मुझे वैसे भी ना मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि मुझे ऐसी श्रद्धा कैसे मिलती है सब करने वाले वही है वही मन में लाते हैं तभी कोई श्रद्धा आती है जब तक वो मन में नहीं बसेंगे कोई श्रद्धा नहीं आएगी होता है बाल इतना लंबा है वो उनके नाम से ही सबकी गाड़ी चलती रहती है it was just a few minutes of conversation, but I felt like they could see inside my heart. And what they offered to me was something that I'll never forget. When it's your time, it'll be revealed to you. This series really, Oprah, is just epic. I mean, in the first episode, you go from the US to India to Budapest, Hungary to Australia. Um, it's visually absolutely stunning, stunning. And, and the three years you put into it are, are so visible. And I know this was, this was incredibly important to you, so important you put your own money into it. It was important because I was going through a period with the uh, beginning of OWN, launching a network where um, all the press was saying, the struggling network, struggling network. And oftentimes when you're going through a challenge, it forces you particularly to go inward and think about what do I really want and what do I really want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So for me, the idea of creating a network was be able to tell stories that really would drop pieces of light into other people's uh, consciousness and really show stories and ideas that would connect people. And as I was saying earlier, I had seen um, Planet Earth on Discovery and mm -hmm. fell in love with the Earth and wanted to do something that would do the same thing, would have the same kind of impact through people's hearts and through their spirits. And part two pictures, which at the time was um, working for a show that Lisa Ling was doing on OWN, uh, brought me this idea. I literally had prayed for, all right, God, show me the way, what should I do? Yeah. And three or four days later, this idea came in and I knew that that was the but idea. But you know I what's so great about it, though, is that it's so, it's beautifully shot, number one, yeah. as Anthony yeah. said. But I feel, Oprah, like we're eavesdropping on people's conversations, mm. don't you? I yes. feel like we just happen yeah. to get a glimpse into what people are doing and I'm what I'm so thinking. excited you all saw it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and, and it's not just eavesdropping on their conversations, it's eavesdropping on people's beliefs. Right. Because I know from my own personal upbringing that belief defines who you actually become in the world. Right. Mm. And so you're right, from there, the young Mendel in Budapest, uh, to the aboriginal father who grandfather who is teaching his father his uh, grandson the the song line you see the connection and the connection in all real faiths right. that reveal the character of god is that there is compassion and there's kindness and ultimately love so you see that that aboriginal grandfather feels the same love and the desire to pass on tradition and ritual to his grandson mm -hmm. as the rabbi feels for his son. Yeah. And they're the same, even though they live in, right. you know, opposite ends of the world. Well, and that's yeah. the, the point right. here is it's not, it's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not about religion, it's about belief. No, and it's so not about religion, religion, it's about belief. Some of it is religious, yes. but uh, a lot of people, like the yeah. Alex who climbs mountains and, I, and uh, you know, doesn't have any ropes or anything, just living in the mm -hmm. moment, um, he he says he's an atheist. So I, it's interesting because Reshma, who we just showed, yes. is Hindu, and she's very successful. She's got a great job, but she, and she's Hindu. But she struggles with. She says, as you said, eavesdrop. She says, "What is it? I largely believe in." So she quits her job. Yeah, I know. And she goes to India, where in, there are seventy million people in the largest religious gathering in the world. In the world, yes. And she has this. Com she says to herself, "Do you have to have religion, or is being a good person?" Enough. I think that's a question I, many I people that. struggle yes. with. And, uh, you know, I, I loved when the Pope was here. You know, my favorite moment with the Pope, my favorite, favorite moment is after he's been on the balcony and 
spoken to Congress, and he says to the crowd, pray for me, and if you don't believe in prayer, just send me good wishes. Yes. Yes. I thought yes. that that was... was a wonderful thing. Wasn't that a, yeah, yeah, goosebump yeah, moment, goosebump. because I thought it was such a way of being inclusive without saying, and now I shall be inclusive of you mm -hmm. non-praying people. You know, I, but I thought yes, about but, it, Gail, because when you guys came back from the tour, yes, when yes, you, yes. you said to me, people are searching for something, Nora. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but people yeah. are searching oh, yeah. for something. Yeah, there's a, a deep... Wounded people. Yes, there's a, a deep wounded. yearning for, and that's what belief speaks to, yeah. the yearning for something greater than yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you're only living a life for yourself, you will find, yeah, you will find that you end up feeling lost many times. Which is why that, with the, the, the scenes with Reshma, the, the, the girl from Chicago who's Hindu, who, went, who goes to India, are so powerful, because she talks about basically going home to her room alone at night and eating dinner, and That's then right. all of a sudden she finds herself in the middle of... 16, in community. In, in community. an enormous community, which yes. seems overwhelming, but is also somehow comforting. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And I think a lot of people feel that, and uh, I think Reshma speaks for uh, the voices of, a, of, a, of an entire generation, you know. Um, the, the latest Pew survey shows that like a third of millennials, apps, they believe in nothing. Yeah. Mm. They believe in nothing. Yeah. So they're, they're also searching for, you know, which is the direction that will lead me to my highest self.